Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kayla, also known as Thrifty Mom of Two here on this YouTube channel. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and on Facebook Marketplace. And today I have a thrift store haul video to share with you guys. Today's haul is actually going to be a little special. It's going to be a little bit different compared to my previous haul videos. I did do a little more research prior to filming this so that I can share a little bit more information in this, in this video. So what I'm going to be doing is I am actually going to be sharing what I think like an average selling price for each of these items is going to be based off of comps or comparable solds on Poshmark. And then at the end of the video, I will actually add up all of these numbers, the low end of comps and the high end of comps. And I will share with you guys an estimated profit that I believe I can make on this haul. So definitely stick around to the end if you wanna hear that number, just kind of what I expect on a haul like this, how much money I expect to make after fees, we're gonna subtract out site fees. We're also gonna subtract out my cost of goods and I'm gonna give you guys the true profit kind of range from the low to high end of what I expect to make on these items. Okay, so just to give you guys some backstory on this haul, this is actually going to be strictly a shoe haul, which you guys will see hopefully from my title of this video. These shoes I purchased all in one day from one thrift store. I spent a couple hours in one thrift store and I just had a great day sourcing shoes. I was able to purchase 27 pairs from one thrift store, which does not always happen. Sometimes I have to go to multiple thrift stores to get a good amount of shoes in one day, but I just really lucked out. They were doing a lot of restocking this way and the shelves were full and I was just able to get a lot of really good pairs. So 27 pairs of shoes, one thrift store, I spent a total of $252.29 on this entire haul. That does include my tax, so that includes how much I paid for tax. So let's go ahead and jump into the haul. I'm gonna quickly show you all 27 pairs. I'm not gonna spend too much time on each pair because I wanna get through them, but I will also mention, I already did check comps on each of these. I based my comps off of either the same or similar pairs of shoes. I also kind of based my comps off of my prior experience selling shoes. I've sold tons and tons and tons of shoes. You guys know that. That is my number one category that sells. That is my favorite category to sell. And a lot of these shoes I've actually sold before. So I also kind of took that into consideration. And I'm gonna give you guys kind of a range of what I expect to sell them for. So I'm gonna give you a lower comp and a higher comp. And then at the end, again, we're gonna add all of that together and come up with an estimated profit on this haul. Okay, so first up here, I have a pair of flats. This is by the brand Lucky Brand, which I still do like selling Lucky Brand shoes. I don't pick up a ton of their clothing unless it's a real exceptional piece, but I do like selling the shoes. These ones are a white, genuine leather, really nice condition, still flat. They have been worn, but the upper still looks really nice. They're also a really good size, which is why I decided to grab these. They are a women's size 10. I estimated comps on this pair between $18 and $25. Okay, next up I have this pair of Nike. You guys know I love selling Nike. These are Nike Metcon cross-training sneakers. Love selling Metcons. They are one of my favorite styles from Nike to pick up. These are the Metcon 3s and these are actually in amazing condition for being white. They're very clean. The bottoms look great. Now I did already clean most of these shoes and most of them are listed. There are still a few that I need to, to list in here, but um, yeah, this is this pair was already kind of like this when I picked them up from the thrift store. They were already in great condition. You can see the insoles look great. These ones are a women's size seven and a half. I have sold tons of Metcons in the past and this pair I estimated anywhere between 35 up to $50 just because they are almost in like new condition. Okay, next up I have this pair of Puma sneakers. I don't pick up a ton of Puma, but I definitely do depending on the style. Puma is one of those brands that I'm still kind of learning, so I always check the style. You can look at the inside tag and there is a style number on all of these shoes. Most shoes have a style number in the tag, so it makes it super easy to look up. 
This pair looked like it was performing really well, which is why I decided to go ahead and pick it up. These also are in like new condition. They're a like mid top black camo sneaker, women's size seven and a half. And these ones after checking comps, just based on the condition, because these are in like new condition, should sell anywhere between 40 and $50 on Poshmark. And if you guys see me like constantly looking down, it's because I have my notes down here. I wrote all of my comps down on this piece of paper. So I'm just kind of referencing my notes. That's why I keep looking down there. This next pair of shoes is by Adidas. I've actually sold this pair a couple of times before, not in the black colorway. The other two I had, I think I had an olive green pair and then a hot pink pair, but they were the exact same style, just different colorway. You can see the Adidas logo on the back, but I love selling this shoe. These ones are in pretty good condition, a little bit of wear, but the upper really looks nice. These ones are a men's size nine and a half. And the last pair of these I sold the on Poshmark was the hot pink pair and those ones sold for 40. So I'm gonna say anywhere from 40 to $50 on this pair just because these ones are a little bit of a better size and I just think this black, white and brown colorway will do well. So anywhere between 40 and $50 on this pair. Okay, up next I have this pair of youth sneakers. I do pick up kid shoes, especially kid shoes that have a adult equivalent shoe. So any brands that also make the adult equivalent version, I will pick up because they typically still will resell well. This is a pair, um, these are called the Nike Airmore Up Tempo, kind of like an old school style sneaker. And if these were in better condition, I think I could demand a higher price, but there is a little bit of damage on them. They're definitely still wearable. They are in good condition, I would say, but there is like some scratches on the like little air bubbles down here. They are still full, like they're not popped or anything, but there is some scratches. And then one of the, I think it's right here. One of the little shoelace things is kind of coming undone. The stitching is coming undone there. But other than that, they're not in terrible condition. They're a youth size 13 C, but um, because of the, the few small, small like flaws on these shoes, I did comp them a little bit lower, anywhere from 20 to $30. Up next, I have a pair of Vans, you guys know love selling vans you guys are probably sick of me saying that but i personally love vans i own probably 10 pairs in my personal collection um, but i love selling them it's just a great selling brand for me these are a um, skate high version all black leather with the white soles i love the leather vans i think the leather ones you can get just a little bit more for just, and because they're a high top they have the zippers on the back, really good condition. These ones are really nice shape still. And they are a women's size seven. I comped these between 30 and $45. I've sold a ton of very similar shoes to this. I actually think I might've sold this exact pair. I know I've sold the all black ones, like the triple black leather ones before. Um, so yeah, I comped these between anywhere between 30 and $45. Okay, up next, I have another pair of Vans. These ones are a men's size, they're a larger size. They are this bright, they're kind of getting washed out on my camera even, bright neon yellow sneakers. They do have a few marks on them. They're in good condition still, but this neon yellow canvas is really hard to clean. So there are a few like just light marks on them in places. Nothing, nothing major, but these ones are a men's size 10 and I put these ones at anywhere between 25 and $35. The style of this shoe is called the Authentic Sneaker. Up next, I have this pair of Nike shoes. This pair of Nike, these are called the Nike Air Max Zero Essential. Comps on this shoe, I've never, I've sold a ton of Nike Air Max, but never this exact style. Um, and comps were really tricky. So on eBay, there are some of these listed pre-owned for 
over a hundred dollars but on Poshmark when I looked at solds it didn't look like any that were pre-owned were selling for over a hundred there were some brand new in box that sold for over a hundred these ones do have some wear nothing you know crazy they're still good tread the upper is actually still pretty clean but they definitely have been worn. So for this pair on Poshmark, I put down anywhere from $45 to $65. And these ones are in men's size 11 and a half, which is a really good size. The next pair I have here is a pair of the Adidas. These, I don't remember the exact style name. It's something like the Adidas Predator. They do have like the boost sole on the bottom, which is really popular they are like a knit sock sock like slip on sneaker again pre-owned but really nice condition tiny bit of wear on one of the logos here if you guys can see that but not a deal breaker these ones are a smaller men's size though they're a men's size seven um so i may also list these as the women's equivalent size and these ones i comped between 30 and 45 dollars okay next up is actually one of my favorite brands to sell i've mentioned it a few times on this channel i don't find this brand all of the time so anytime i do i get really excited i have picked this brand up retail arbitrage before as well and those shoes also performed great i just absolutely love this brand and this is palladium i believe is how it's pronounced you can see the little logo on the side there love love selling this brand i highly recommend grabbing them if you find them in good condition their boots uh do so well for me men's and i've sold men's and women's and this pair is in amazing condition i love the black with the blue shoelaces they're a really good men's size they're a larger men's size yeah men's size 12 so really good size and these ones i'm expecting anywhere from 45 to 65 dollars okay next up i have a pair of toms i do love selling toms it's one of my bread and butter shoe brands to sell i do only pick them up if they're in really good condition i don't like to pick up any that have any significant wear but as you can see these ones are really nice the bottoms look really nice. They don't have a super high resale value, but they sell fast for me and they still sell for a decent amount, which is why I still pick them up. This one is a men's size 10. I do pick up Tom's men's and women's. And these ones I'm estimating anywhere from 20 on the low end up to $35. This next pair of shoes that I'm gonna show you guys, I actually found two of this day, but one of them sold right away and I already shipped them out. So I'm gonna just pop that picture on the screen. It was actually this exact same shoe, but in a different colorway. They were the same size, so most likely donated by the same person. So these are the New Balance 247 is the style name and this pair is in like a brown and green colorway which I love so much I wish these were my size because I just I love earth tones and I just think these are such a cool looking shoe and then the other ones I sold had kind of like a salmon pink color and gray on them I'll pop the picture up so you guys can see but like I said very similar condition they both are in great pre-owned condition same size men's size 10 and a half so the ones that i sold sold for 35 dollars so i'm just going to estimate my comp on this pair since they are the same style same size also at 35 dollars okay up next i have a pair of new balance fresh foam sneakers in this gray and gum bottom colorway i actually own this exact pair of sneakers in a women's version or women's size this one's a men's size but exact same shoes i have them i love them they're so comfortable and these ones are let's see these ones are also a men's size 10 and a half. So could have been the same person that donated this pair um, just because I did find them, like I said, all in the same day. And this pair I'm estimating to sell anywhere from 30 to $45. You can see they're still in really good condition. Next shoe is another one of my favorite brands of shoes to sell. Great seller, great style. These are Merrill hiking shoes. I love selling 
hiking shoes all year round. I sell them obviously in the summer when people are getting out and about, but people do still hike in the fall and winter as well. So hiking shoes are just a great pickup for me. A lot of them are waterproof and um, yeah, I just, I really like selling them. Merrell's a great brand. These ones are like a purple and gray colorway. You can see they still have really good tread. They also have Vibram or Vibram. I'm not sure the exact pronunciation of that, um, but they have the, I think it's Vibram. I'm just going to say Vibram. They have the Vibram soles, which is a great keyword to use in your listing. And yeah, still in really good condition. These ones are a women's size six. And I comped these ones at $30 to $40. Okay, this next brand is a comfort shoe brand that I like picking up. I am a little bit picky with style, but I do pick up majority of this brand when I find it. It does sell really well for me. It actually sells really well on eBay, but um, I mean, I, do, I did see some sold comps on Poshmark as well. This is the brand Echo. Again, it's just a really nice, high quality made comfort shoe that a lot of people like. These are genuine suede, really nicely made. Um, let's see, they're a Euro size 41. So probably, oh, let's see, it has a US size as well. So they are a US, Euro 41, US size 10. And these still are in pretty good condition. So for these, I'm expecting, Let's see, anywhere from $30 to $40. Okay, next up we have another pair of Nikes. I've actually sold this exact pair probably like four or five times. Not in this colorway, but the exact same type of running shoe. So these are the Flex Experience 8. And I've sold, like I said, this shoe in different colorways many times. I love this pink colorway. It's kind of like a salmon-y pink. Again, really good condition. These ones are a women's size eight and a half. Um, so I went back and look at, looked at the ones I've sold. I sold a pair for 30. I sold a pair, the pair that sold for 30 sold on eBay. I sold two pairs of them on Mercari, one for 35 and one for 40. So it doesn't look like I sold this exact shoe on Poshmark yet. Given the fact that I have sold this pair three times before that I could find anyways, or that I looked up real quick, um, I'm still going to comp them anywhere between 30 and $40, which I think is fair considering the lowest price one I said sold for 30 and then the highest price one I sold went for 40. So we're just gonna say anywhere from 30 to $40 for this pair. Up next, I have another pair of Nike Metcon cross, cross training shoes. These might actually look familiar to you guys because I recently shared this exact pair, not this pair, but this exact shoe in this exact colorway in one of my haul videos. I found it again. So the second time I found this exact shoe in this exact pink and white colorway. Um, the last pair I found was a women's size six and a half. This pair is a women's size seven and a half good condition these are the metcon twos so the other metcons i shared or i showed with you guys just a little bit ago are the metcon threes so just a little bit of a newer one than this pair but metcons in general just sell really well for me so i like i said i still like picking them up and these ones i estimated anywhere from 28 to 35 dollars this next pair of shoes is actually a fun one. This is a pair of slides with these like black cat faces. This is by the brand Bob's from Skechers, which I do pick up on occasion. I don't pick up all of them, but Bob's from Skechers, they're kind of like a comfort style shoe as well. They do usually have like the memory foam insoles. These are like the plush foam soles. It says plush foam here. So a lot of people like them just for comfort. And this pair is a women's size eight, I think with Halloween coming up, these might do well um, just because they are like a black cat. And it was hard to find comps on Poshmark for these slides. I think I only saw one that sold around like 20 or $25. Um, most of the ones I was finding were actually Bob's from Skecher flats like ballet flats that had this exact cat face on them. 
So I just kind of estimated um, based off of the flats and then the one or two pairs of these slides I saw that I'm expecting anywhere from $18 to $25 for this pair. These are still in really good condition. They're almost like new. They still have like that sticker from the store on the bottom and it doesn't look dirty. So these might be never worn or maybe just like worn indoors. Next, we have another pair of Nikes. You guys probably see a trend going on. I do pick up a lot of Nikes. These are the Nike Cortez sneakers, which is a good style, kind of like an older retro style sneaker. These ones are all leather. They're in like this blush pink color. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera, but it's like this light, really like blush pink. And then there is like some gold, like the Nike is gold on here and some gold on the bottom. These ones do have a few signs of wear. I mean, they're still in really good condition overall. There's like a few small little like scratches and stuff on the leather, but nothing major, no holes, no tears. The tread still looks great. These are a bigger size, a bigger women's size. They are a women's 11 and a half. And these ones I'm estimating anywhere from $40 to $55. The Cortez shoes usually actually sell pretty well. Um, people really like the retro looking style of them. Okay, this next shoe is another one that actually already sold. So I'm just going to put the picture up on the screen because I just shipped these out this morning, actually. I had my husband take them to the post office for me, but this was a pair of Vans. They were the old school version, black and white, very common colorway. This is a great shoe. I love picking up. I know they look basic, but the black and white Vans, just the basic ones, a lot of people love just the plain ones like that. So I do pick those up as well as the colorful, bright, fun ones. But this is just a classic style, the old school. And these ones still actually sold for full asking price of $35. So that's what I listed them for. That's what they sold for. So that's the number we're going to use for the comps on this one since they did already sell. This next shoe find was an exciting one. This is my second pair of Rothy's that I've been able to thrift. This one's not as exciting as the first pair I found. If you guys saw that video, I found a pair of Rothy's. Um, I can't remember, I paid less than $10 for them at the thrift store and they sold right away for $200 on Poshmark. Such a good sell. These ones, however, I don't think are as desirable as a style. They're still Rothy's though, so it's still a great brand and I still think they'll sell, but I don't think they'll sell anywhere near that $200 price range. They're also a smaller size, so these are like a leopard print flat, which leopard print is really popular, especially for the fall. So that's really exciting. But these are a women's size six and a half. Um, I've never owned Rothy's. I've never tried them on before. I wear a six and a half in most shoes. So I did try these on and they're tight on me. So I think I did write that in the listing that I think they run a little bit small, maybe a full size small. They probably be best for a women's five and a half, which is an even smaller size. Um, but let me know if you own Rothy's or if you've tried on Rothy's in your size, do they fit true to size or are they usually a little small? Because I know other shoes in ballet flats, sometimes I have to size up just because ballet flats in general, in my opinion, run kind of small. They fit like tight on your feet. So I don't know. I listed them as a six and a half. I just wrote in the listing that I feel like they run, you know, a size small and I'm estimating that they should sell anywhere from 60 to 80 dollars on Poshmark. Okay, next up, this was actually kind of an exciting find. This is a pair of like cutout booties, really stylish, really cute for the fall, has like a very boho vibe. They do have like this uh, shiny like mirrored toe cap on the front here. And this is by, these are by the brand Jeffrey Campbell. I have, um, paper down in there, but they're by Jeffrey Campbell. I don't pick up every shoe by this brand, but certain styles can demand a higher price point. And I was actually pleasantly surprised when I looked up this style. It looked like they were selling really well on Poshmark. So this one, these are called the Slashed Cap Boots. They are genuine leather, and these ones are a women's size nine and a half, so really good size. And I put these ones at 
anywhere from $40 to $65. Next, we have a pair of heels, really pretty, like blue rhinestone. These are definitely like a good formal event shoe. They have that blue like satin, perfect for prom or a wedding, any type of formal event. And these are by the brand Jewel by Badgley Mishka, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I have sold Badgley Mishka shoes in the past. I think the Jewel line is their lower end line. Just when I looked up um, similar heels on just on Google and just kind of looked at the prices they sell for brand new. Um, but they still are expensive. So a lot of the heels by this brand still retail for over $100. The ones strictly just by Badgley Mishka were retail between like the two and $300 range. So I do, you know, think this is a little bit of a lower end line, but I still grabbed them. I think they'll do well. They are in really nice condition, women's size 11. So really good size. And I could not find this exact style. I couldn't find the style name. I tried typing in all the keywords. So if you guys know the style name of this heel, definitely let me know. But I just looked up blue satin rhinestone heels and just compared comps to very similar uh, heels in this brand. And I'm comping these ones anywhere between $25 and $35. Okay, next we have a pair of Felicia flats by Sam Edelman. I love selling Sam Edelman. I do, I am a little bit picky with style, so sometimes I do comp check like specific styles. The nice thing about Sam Edelman is they do put the actual style name, so not even a number you have to Google. It's a style name just right on the inside here. So if you can read it, these ones say Felicia. This is like a very common style flat. By this brand. Um, I've sold this style not in this patent red leather but I've sold this style many times in other colorways and they sell well so I will always pick up the Felicia flats if they're in good condition. These ones are women's size 9 so really good size and I think this bright red will do really good around the holiday time. It gives me that like Christmas time vibe. And these ones I comped anywhere from $25 to $35, which is between roughly what I've sold the pairs, um, the other Felicia flats that I've sold in the past for. Two more pairs and then we'll talk some numbers. So we're almost done. If you've made it this far, we're almost to the end where we'll go over some numbers. Two more pairs to show you guys though. This is a pair of Cole Haan wedges genuine leather they have some suede on the back here i just thought this style was really cute i love the two-tone colorway and these are by cole Haan, which i do like selling cole Haan actually sells well for me on ebay um so these might actually sell over there better than poshmark um let's see these are the nike air they do have like the nike air soles on the bottom and i know i found the size earlier, but now I'm not seeing it for some reason. These ones are a women's size eight and a half and just really good condition, which is why I grabbed them. I put the comps for this pair anywhere from 25 to $35. This last pair of shoes I picked up just based off of style. I think these are vintage. I'm not 100% sure, but this is not a brand I recommend picking up. It's not a brand I don't think I've I mean, I don't think I've ever sold this brand before, but I love the style. I just could not leave these behind. This is a pair of flats. Um, they're like a tapestry fabric, really cute pattern, like mixed pattern all the way around. And I just think these really fit that whole like granny chic prairie vibe. I think somebody is going to absolutely love these. They are super adorable in my opinion. The brand is Vanelli. You guys can see it there. And they are in really good condition. They have a leather sole, um, so they're really nicely made. They are a women's size seven, but um, I couldn't find any in this exact like pattern, this exact 
print. I couldn't find any listed or any sold. So it was really kind of hard to base comps on this exact shoe, but I did look at other flats that were similar selling by this brand and comps were not that great on Poshmark. However, I think with the right keywords, these will do well on eBay. Um, so that's kind of what I'm betting on. But even on Poshmark on the low end, I'm still expecting maybe $15 up to about $25 for this pair. So not too bad. Really, really cute uh, pair of shoes. All right guys, so now let's go ahead and talk numbers. This is probably what most of you guys have been waiting to hear. So I'm gonna give you guys a low end estimation of potential profit on this haul and then the high end estimation so we can kind of have like an average of what I expect to make on all of these shoes on a haul like this. Hopefully you guys find this information helpful. So on the low end, if I take and I add up all of the comparable soles or the comps that I shared with you guys on the low end, I came up with a total of $849 is what I would make gross on this haul. Now, of course, we do have to subtract out site fees. So we are just gonna go ahead and use Poshmark site fees for this example. I do, however, of course, sell on Mercari, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. And actually, Poshmark has the highest site fee or seller fee out of all of the platforms at 20%. So if we subtract 20% off of that, which would be $169.80, that's how much I'm paying Poshmark just to sell my items on their platform, I am left with a total of $679.20. So that number is what will actually get deposited into my bank account, the $679.20. However, we still do have to consider how much I paid for all of these items to get a true total profit. So if you guys remember back at the beginning of this video, I mentioned I paid $252.29 for this entire haul. So if we then subtract that off, I'm left with a total potential profit of $426.91. So even on the low end, that is still really good for a couple hours in one thrift store. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about our numbers on the high end because I don't think everything is going to sell for my bottom dollar, like low end asking price. So on the high end, if we take and add up all of the comps that I told you guys on the high end, this is if everything sold for like my full asking price, which also probably won't happen. That's why we're going to kind of estimate here. I would make $1,150 gross. So then we would take out our 20% site fees, which is what we would have to pay Poshmark. And that would be $230 is how much Poshmark will keep from my earnings, which sounds like so much money, but that is just kind of the price you pay to sell on platforms like this. You are paying for the platform because they do give you exposure and they do give you that customer base all right guys, I apologize, my camera died and I did end up losing a small portion of this video. So I am gonna just have to film this part like this. However, I will be back on camera here shortly, so just bear with me for a second. Um, so what I was saying is that if we subtract the 20% site fees, which is $230, I am then left with $920. That is the number that will get deposited into my bank account from Poshmark. So now we will subtract out my cost of goods, which was that $252.29, which will leave us with an estimated profit of $667.71, which I think is great for a shoe haul like this. I also wanted to mention while I'm editing this video anyways, that out of the nine pairs of shoes I've sold already, which I have kind of shown you guys as we've gone throughout this video, so these are the pairs that have sold quickly, I have already made $274.13 after all site fees. So after I've paid site fees, I've made $274.13. 
So now if we subtract my cost of goods, which was that $252.29, I have already made a profit of $21.84 on this haul, and that is just off of nine pairs of shoes. I still have 18 pairs left to sell, which will all be pure profit now once these ones start selling as well. So with those final 18 pairs left, that should put us somewhere within our estimated profit range of the $426.91 and the $667.71. But yeah, guys, I think that's great. I don't think that's bad at all. Again, this was just a couple hours in one thrift store on one day. You do have to consider that I did have to clean, prep, photograph, list all of these shoes too. So there is some work to be done at home, but that's just kind of the name of the game when it comes to reselling. Um, so that, you know, all of that I'm used to. I do have a video all about how I do clean my shoes. I will link that in the drop down box below um, if you guys want to check that out. Also, another thing I wanted to mention is that some of these shoes, actually probably a good majority of these shoes will sell on eBay or Macari or Facebook Marketplace because they do sell shoes all across all of my platforms, which those sites actually have a lower site fee. So that could also play a factor too in how much profit I make, but very good. I think that's a very good estimation anywhere between that like 400 to, you know, 667 ish dollars profit on this haul. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. If you did enjoy this type of video with the breakdown and the numbers and everything, definitely let me know in the comments down below so I know to do this a little more often with my haul videos. It does take a little more work, so I might not do it with every haul, but I definitely will occasionally if you guys like it. Also give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you enjoy reseller related content. And I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.